हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अनादर एपिसोड फॉर एजेंट फोर्स फॉर एवरी वन इन दिस एपिसोड वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इन्वोक रिकॉर्ड समरी प्रॉम्प्ट टेम्पलेट फ्रॉम एपेक्स सो फार वी हैव सीन हाउ टू क्रिएट रिकॉर्ड समरी प्रॉम टेम्पलेट हाउ टू इन्वोक फ्रॉम एपेक्स एंड फ्रॉम फ्लोज नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू द वाइस वर्सा सो वी आर नाउ गोइंग टू इन्वोक द रिकॉर्ड समरी प्रॉम टेम्पलेट्स फ्रॉम एपेक्स सो वी आर ऑन करंटली एपिसोड नंबर ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड इफ आई जम्प बैक टू माई ऑर्ग This is the record summary prompt template which I have created and I am going to use the same one. So just to explain, this is a simple prompt we are giving to the LLM to ask to generate the account summary and we have provided all the details related to the account, name, type, industry, rating, revenue, etc and then we are also asking to please list down all the contacts, opportunities, cases and orders and this data we are faced from this flow. We have also asked uh please uh, output as a clean concise paragraph in a professional but friendly tone like you present in front of your manager or your client so now the requirement is we can definitely test this providing any account so let's say if i provide edge communications and click on preview i can see that the llm has generated this summary but now the requirement is i want to invoke this prompt template from apex so whenever a apex has been executed the prompt template should generate the summary and we are going to store this summary somewhere in our account so we will going to create a new field on the account let's say record summary and we are going to invoke this prompt template from our apex and that apex is going to store the summary into the account field which is record summary so without wasting any time let's start writing our apex so for that i am going to create a new class let's say invoke record summary prompt template such a big name and a method public static void because we are not go going to return anything and let's say invoke now in order to invoke the record summary prompt template we need the record id because we have written this prompt template on account object so we definitely need the account id so that we can pass this to the prompt template the prompt template can receive the id can receive the account record and then generate the data accordingly and then we are going to fetch this generated summary to our apex also so i am going to define a input parameter which is account id and now i am going to copy some pieces of code which i have already written so let me do partially so that i can explain line by line so first we are going to create a map where we are going to store the key as a id and the value is the record id then we need a connect api feature where we are storing our account data to the wrapped value then next we need another map with the key as a string and the value should be the connect wrapper whatever the value we have set in the map so the key is input colon account and this thing you can find it if you go to the record summary prompt template settings and if you go to template details so this is your input so you need to define the same input as it is that's how you receive your account data this is done then next you need to define the connect api for einstein prompt template generation input so that your prompt template can generate the data and we are not previewing this because we are generating in the background so that's why preview should be false application name should be preview build prompt builder preview and input params is the input parameters we are passing because we are calling a record summary prompt template that's why this is bound to a single record input in our previous episode where we worked on flex prompt template the flex prompt template can bound to up to 5 record inputs and i have shown that how we can pass five different parameters to the flex prompt template with the help of apex so because this record template is only bound to a single that's why we have a single map of connect api that is done our initialization is all done then we need to instance uh, another connect api which says einstein prompt template generation representation which is going to generate the output so this is the call which is actually going to generate the output where we need to pass our api name of our prompt template so if you look at the api name of our prompt template which is account underscore summary underscore rspt rspt belongs to record summary prompt template so if you look at this i have already prepared account summary rspt and this execute template input is the input for the einstein template prompt generation that is done and in the last we need to define the connect api for einstein llm generation in item output so this is the line which is going to generate the output and then we are getting the zeroth element from the generations because we just need the text whatever it has generated so in the response dot text we are going to receive the exact summary which is this in the response so whatever the data you are seeing here you will have the data in your 
response.txt and then we can see in, in the debug. So let's save this class. Okay, now I am going to refresh a dev console and open invoke rec sorry invoke record summary and i'm going to uh, find a account let's say this account is fine or maybe let's say this burlington i will simply copy this record id and i'm going to test this with the anonymous co code so here i'm going to provide invoke record summary prompt template dot invoke and then i will pass the account id so we are going to look for this debug response is so if i execute So the code has executed and now if you look at the debug let me zoom in a little bit for you so i can see the debug which is response is and it has generated the output uh, we don't see the whole output here because of the maximum length but this is generated the account summary cool now what we need what we need to do next is when the llm is going to generate this output and we are going to get this output in the response.txt we are going to store this output somewhere on the account record so for that let's create a new field on the account let's say um, record summary field something called uh, I will choose as text area long and I will name it as record summary I will use 131072 all the characters and visible lines should be 5 next visible to all next next and save and I am going to edit this page maybe I'll refresh if I go to details, I can see this is the record summary. Now, I am expecting the data should be generated here. So let's see. So we need to update this field, right? So once the response has been generated, we are going to do account acc equals to new acc uh, acc dot id equals to account id, which we are receiving in our input parameter, and acc dot record summary is something response dot text and finally update so now whenever the response has been generated we are going to update this summary so let me test this again so at the moment the record summary is blank and if i call this class then this class should update the summary to the record summary field let's execute it's done if i go and refresh the account go to the details I can see in the record summary you can ignore this summary uh, but you can see in the record summary that this summary has been generated for this account so that's how you invoke your record summary prompt template from apex now another thing to highlight because i'm not calling this class from anywhere but you can call this class from your trigger so let's say you want to generate the summary whenever an account has been created or a account has been updated or any contacts cases opportunities orders or anything which is related to the account has been modified or added so you can call this class you just need to pass your account id and your account id will generate the summary for you and then it will also stamp into the record summary field so this is the necessary step you can perform uh, so that's how we cover episode number 25 where we invoke the record summary prompt template from apex now in the next episode we are going to do the same thing but we are going to do with the help of flows so we will see how to invoke the record summary prompt templates from flows so i will see you in the next episode till then take care and thanks for watching